And we can now reveal, it's in seconds on the back of that, that the winner is Tom O'Brien for his ride at Worcester aboard uh, Connors Toy. This was back on the 21st of June. Tom joins us on the line now. Good morning to you, Tom, and uh, many congratulations. Morning, Martin. How are you? Yeah, thank very, you very good. Much. Very good, thank you. Um, and I really just would be looking back. We could have a look back at the ride again. What was it, Tom, that you thought that really made this stand out as a particularly good ride? Um, well, I, I, got, I got quite quite good instructions, really. Um, Christian Williams has a lot to do with the horse, and he just told me, well, well don't panic, really. Um, he told me, and, and uh, I was getting a bit uptight. I'd gone on a, on, a bit, on a bit of a losing streak. Uh, I'd gone nearly 50 rides without a winner. Um, so I... He just well chilled me out really before I went out to ride him and um, yeah the, lucky it came off anyway. And he was a horse that just keeps on finding him. Mean, at what stage did you think I'm actually going to get there? Because he's it was a long way off coming towards the last. Um, when he came out my hands two out, um, uh, I knew he had a bit left and um, I needed uh, well Richard Richard's horse probably on that long run in looked about a little bit and uh, I needed him to do that obviously and. Uh, Thank God he, he thank God he did. So you pick up the five hundred pound prize from at the races. You also get the trophy, and there's five hundred pounds to donate to a charity. Uh, which charity is that going to go to, Tom? And um, that's going to the to the injured jockeys fund. Oh, yeah, very worthy cause. And have you had much to do uh, with the injured jockeys fund through through your career and their workings? Um, well, they they look after everyone um, so well, and uh, they, any time I've been injured, they've they've looked after me very well. So. Um, um, I uh, I felt I felt it right that uh, the, the donation goes to them. Okay, it's a very good choice. And you touched on the fact you had that losing spell. You had that ride of the month, and you've got uh, a good few rides today. You're off to what your toxin for one, and then Worcester later on tonight. Yeah, yeah, and they have chances. Hopefully, um, S Superpowers had a comeback run um, a couple of weeks ago, and, and she ran really well. And I'm sure she'll have improved for that. Um, so. Fingers crossed she has a good chance up at Utoxeter and um, Winter Leap at, at Worcester has had, had one run over hurdles, which I'm sh sure she'll improve for as well. Um, that looks like quite a tough race with um, Nicky Henderson's in that. Um, there's a couple in there to beat. Um, and also Tear Dove in the, in the second last at, at Worcester uh, has also had only one run over hurdles, uh, which she was second. Um, same again. There's a there's a couple in there to beat, but um, if she puts her best 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 foot forward, she she could go close. And so fingers crossed. I was going to say superpowers. I think Dickie Johnson rode her at Cartmel, but you've ridden her before. And for a chase debut, there was lots to like about that. Yeah, de definitely. Like it was her it was her um, comeback run for from um, a winter break. Um, so and I, I'm sure she'll have improved for that. Um, she she, she seems, looks like she might be a better chaser than a hurdler. So. If that's the case, um, she won't be far away. No, fingers crossed. Well, Tom, thanks for joining us. Many congratulations on landing right of the month and best of luck later on today. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.